Hi, this is Dave from Heads Up, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can track your Keto Mojo readings inside your Heads Up profile. So, we'll start on the dashboard. First, you want to get all of the Keto Mojo tests onto the dashboard. And you can see I've already got glucose, hemoglobin, and ketones on my dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and add hematocrit. So, add any sources onto the dashboard that you don't have already. You don't have to have these on here if you're not tracking them. If you don't want it on, you can just hide it and add it back whenever you want. But once you've got them all set up, the second thing is to create a new entry. Just use the Add Data button and choose Keto Mojo from the list. Enter your values. If you need to change the time and date stamp, you can. 1.2, let's say glucose is 77, 45, 15 optionally add any tags. I'll show you where those come into play in a second and also actually add any notes and these will also get stored along with each reading and then as soon as you hit save and exit all of my Keto Mojo numbers will update. Here they are and a few other things you can click any of these cards we will show you your last five entries here and then your average this month last month and year to date. If you want to reposition things, you can. If you just want to add individual measurements and you don't want to use the form to add all the entries, you can just use the plus button. So if I just want to enter a glucose reading, I can enter it directly from the dashboard widget. I don't have to use the Keto Mojo form to enter all four numbers. So that's how you can individually enter measurements as well. If you need to edit a particular entry, just use the pencil icon here. That will allow you to edit a specific reading or delete a specific reading. And then last but not least is graphing your entries. The bar graph icon here will automatically load the analyzer and allow you to graph your readings over time. So here I've got my last 30 days of blood glucose readings, but let's look at them for the current year. This will graph all blood sugar readings, and maybe I only want to look at fasting readings. So you can add fasting readings. You'll see the average this month, sorry, average during the period, min during the period, max during the period. That's over the course of whatever date range is specified here. And then as you mouse over each graph, if you've added notes to the readings, you'll see the notes pop up here. So here's a note for after some high intensity training. That's where the notes come in with each reading. You can also compare with other sources. So if I wanted to also graph my ketones over the course of the year, I could. And if I wanted to look at the prior year, I could. So all your data points are in here, and you can start to graph them, look at the trends, understand how they affect things like body composition, weight, and other health metrics. So any questions, just hit us up here in the support window, or shoot us an email, support at headsuphealth.com. Thanks.